Hey, what's up, Roman Mystics? It's Unique Divination, and I am here with another celebrity psychic reading. This one is going to be on a couple, Janae Aiko and Big Sean. I'm just going to do them together because they're a couple. Um, I believe, y'all correct me because y'all know I'll be getting it wrong. I'm sorry. Um, I believe Janae Aiko is, and let me know if I'm pronouncing her name right, A Aiko. She's a Pisces, and I believe Big Sean is an Aries. So y'all going to let me know if I'm wrong anyway. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? And like and share this video as well. So let's see what Janae and Big Sean have in store. They recently um, have told us that they are pregnant with child, so congratulations to them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love them. They're very emotional. Um, spiritual. I feel like Big Sean is spiritual. He may not be as openly spiritual as Janae, but I feel like they're very tapped in and in tune. I appreciate um, their relationship and their love for each other. It's amazing. Let's see what these cards say. Let's see what the cards have to say about their energy. All right, so we're going to start off with the Eight of Swords reversed, upright. This is Lord of Short and Force. Um, and so it, their life is getting ready to slow down. Um, Big Sean, I don't know what he's been doing the last whatever years. I'm not a fan of him. I don't have anything to say about him. He's just not somebody that like I'd be like, oh, hold up. Let's throw on that Big Sean album. I'm sorry. That's just not... He's not my cup of tea. I mean, if somebody else put him on, I'm not going to tell him to change him. You feel me? But... Um, Janae Aiko, I don't know what she's been doing. Um, Y'all let me know. She's been, she been torn, whatever. But life is getting ready to slow down because of that baby. Um, eight of Swords in the next eight months specifically. So we're going to see them, of course, in social media, hanging out, chilling together. You know, may do some, some you know, things here and there. But generally, I feel like they're going to fade away for a little bit. And start to appreciate their relationship and the new dynamic that it's moving towards, which is a baby, mom and dad. Um, who knows? Maybe we've got Jupiter and Gemini in here. You know, maybe marriage is on the way too. Or if they're not already married, you know, sometimes celebrities get secretly married and they don't tell nobody. So let's look out for all of that, okay? Four of Pentacles. Um, right now, they are each other's power. They feel really lost without each other. They really can't do anything without each other. And that's not in a bad way. I mean, um, they are really vulnerable to each other. They're really in love and they really are drawing strength and power from each other. And just like they're each other's muses. Um, definitely um, never bored of each other. Um, and just everything they do is just magnified, you know, fun and just awesomeness because of their vibe and what they're doing. Um, the Hermit. The Hermit reversed. So this has Virgo on here. And so I feel like. Hmm. I feel like, cause this is kind of gonna. I, I don't. I don't know if it's gonna contradict what I'm saying, or I'm trying to word this, cause this was them drawing back, right? Or things taking their time, so to speak. And then the hermit is saying like, be outgoing. But let me see what this is about. So I don't know if there's another woman that is. Or maybe will in the near future try to come out and throw salt on their relationship. You know, nobody ever wants to see anybody happy. Um, you know, when people are happy and minding their business, drinking their water, you know, taking care of their skin, stuff like that. People want to 
throw salt in the game, try to tarnish things. So I don't know if this will be made public to us, but there will be somebody um, that's going to come out and try to expose. Maybe she's going to try to say that she had a relationship with Big Sean. That would be crazy if it's a secret relationship with Janae Aiko. I don't know. I'm going to put everything out there because I don't know specifically who it is for. But there's definitely somebody, um, Janae or Big Sean, that is trying to taint your relationship. Right? And so don't listen to it. I feel like if it's about Sean, Big Sean, Janae, don't get caught up in the hype. Um, definitely somebody who's trying to throw salt on y'all. Great party you got going on over there. And the same thing applies for Big Sean if it's about Janae. It's definitely somebody trying to tarnish and tank your relationship. So don't feed into it. Um, definitely don't feed into it. Um, definitely not going to happen. Any woman that's going to try to come on to Big Sean is definitely not worth it. Definitely not worth losing Janae at all. So I hope that doesn't come up or will not come up. Any type of scandal. All right. The Sun. Janae, I definitely recommend that you connect with um, two women in your life specifically. And the two women that are most closest to you. I don't know if you haven't been around them in a long time. Or, you know, maybe there was an argument and you're yearning for them. But definitely link up. Um, been stuck up under Sean a lot and that's okay too, but just continue to touch bases and connect with the two most important women in your life. This could apply for Big Sean too. I mean, you guys have been up under each other, um, a lot and pretty much like closed yourself off to the public a little bit as far as like just hanging out with each other and not really with anybody else. And so these two women on both sides, um, are feeling, feeling a little left out and a little neglected. So I don't know if it's a mom or a grandma type thing or an aunt or an uncle, I mean an aunt and a grandma, but it's definitely two women on each side. And definitely, so I got the five of pentacles reversed. So I feel like maybe there was an argument or a disagreement and that's why these women were kind of pushed away or just kind of, you know, told to get back or whatever. Lovers reversed. Um, don't let anybody get in the way of your relationship. Continue to look at things for face value. Actions speak louder than words. And I feel like that has to be said for, for both of y'all. And maybe it still is pertaining to this situation where somebody trying to cause some trouble. Okay, so don't let that get in the way. And the only way that's not going to allow it to get into y'all tarnish your relationship is to continue to look at your relationship at face value. Your actions speak louder than words. What y'all doing is the data. That's what's going to show you if what this person's saying is real or not. Okay, so I hope everything works out. Let me pull one more card. Hopefully it's a good card. The chariot, you know, so just kind of going to have to stop moving a little bit. And that probably, you know, is coinciding with this card, Lord of Short and Fur Lord of Short and Force, where things are gonna slow down a little bit instead of going so fast. And so that's because the chariot has to stop. Because this has to be addressed. It has to be addressed, or I don't know if it's gonna come out um into the public in a nasty light. Okay, so one more card, y'all. Let me pull one more card and see if it's at least upright. Good God. I'm over it. So it is definitely an older woman. We got a queen of swords and a queen of wands. So people are not happy. I have no idea why. What are they mad about? Are they mad because you won't tell them the name of the baby? Like, I don't know what's going on. This is very strange. Um, and this woman has a head in her hand. And then she has, she has Virgo and Libra on here. So this woman is angry because she feel like nobody listened to her. They didn't listen to her criticism, her critiques, her judgments. Um, and this woman is trying to run the show. Swords, just talking, running her mouth. I don't know if this is business. If this is strictly business, because Swords deals with business. I'm traveling. Oh, you know, I can't tell if this is personal or if this is business. But it's definitely somebody just running their mouth. And hopefully these two don't get together. 
because then it's really gonna be a mess. So I don't know, let me know if y'all know anything. If this just sounds off the wall, it kind of does to me, but who knows? Every time I think that my readings be off the wall, they be absolutely on point. So <laughs> we won't know, right? So y'all give me the scoop, let me know in the comments if y'all find out anything about the situation or whatever. And um, please like, share um this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and put in the comments below who you want me to do a reading on next okay and i'll see you next video talk to you later